In Verilog, data types are very important because they decide how signals are represented, stored and updated. This is not just theory, it directly affects how you write RTL for design and also how you verify it in a test bench. First one is NET. NET represent connection between hardware components. They cannot store values, they just reflect whatever is being driven on them. Second one is registers, which is represented as reg. A reg can store a values until it's updated in a procedural block like always. But remember, res does not always mean flip-flop. In simulation, it's just storage. In synthesis, behavior decides whether it's become a latch or a flip-flop. Now next is vectors and arrays. Vectors let you define multi-bit signals like buses. Array group multiple vector or arrays together. Signed versus unsigned. By default, Verilog numbers are unsigned. With signed, you can represent both positive and negative numbers. And other types are integer which is basically 32 bit signed which is useful for loops and counter in test bench. Now next is real which is basically a floating point which is used in simulation only. And next is time which is 64 bit and is used for delays and time stamps. So if you are in design, data types help you correctly model wires, storage and buses in RTL. And if you are in verification, they decide how your test bench variable hold values, generate stimulus and compare output.